What's going on everybody? Matt with Patriot Comics here. Today I went to a local flea market and I got a big old stack of comics. I'm going to throw them in some bags and boards and then we'll take a look at what I got. Stay tuned. Alright, so like I said, I went to my local flea market and there was one vendor there. He was a young guy and all he had was a short box of comics. He had other stuff for sale, kind of random junk, but he had one short box. So really not a lot of comics, but they were pretty cool and I found some great books. He had a lot of number one issues from like the 90s, uh, some image books, um, mostly Marvel and Image, not much DC, but he had a few DCs that are pretty awesome that I got. Um, and he was asking a dollar a book, but I ended up getting 50 comics for 40 bucks. So I think that's a pretty good deal, and wait till you see what I found. All right, so let's get right into it. I'm going to go fast with the filler books. Uh, this is Man from Atlantis, number one. Just a really cool cover with that killer whale. Uh, Man from Atlantis, number two, 35 cent variant book, newsstand, kind of an interesting cover, nothing special. Uh, we got Amazing Spider-Man 273, pretty cool cover with uh, the black suit Spidey and Puma. Not a key book, but not too bad for less than a buck. Also got Spectacular Spider-Man 210, also not a key book, but really nice condition, direct edition as well. Uh, we have Marvel Tales number 50. So it was, it was nice to see a 20 cent Marvel book. Um, of course, it has some shipping. It's in rough shape, but for less than a dollar, I grabbed it. A lot of these books, I was just grabbing because the deal was right. So uh, Mad Dog number one, nothing too special. Crazy looking cover. I actually have a couple issues of those. I find those everywhere. Uh, Fantastic Force number one, first team appearance of Fantastic Force. Really cool foil cover. It's a wraparound cover. Nothing too special, but pretty interesting book there. Another really cool looking book here is Hellstorm number one, Prince of Lies. Really awesome looking cover uh, with the red lettering and the red spear on the brown and tan cover. So just a cool looking book. Um, nothing too crazy there. Excalibur uh, 61, newsstand. Also, nothing special. Um, Daredevil 312, pretty cool looking cover. Newsstand edition, not too bad. I'm always uh, picking up Daredevil when I can find it. Also, love Captain America, uh, issue 408, uh, the final fate of Cap Wolf. Kind of a cool cover, not a key, but really nice condition book. Uh, this was an interesting find. This is a little bit of a key here. This is um, Captain America 428, first appearance of Americop. And in high grade, this is like a $10 book. So not too bad for less than a buck. And it's in really nice condition. It's got a couple spine ticks, but not too bad. Also got this book here, uh, Captain Marvel number one. You know, I don't know much about this book. I've actually never seen this one before. If anybody knows about this, let me know down in the comments. I can't find any information about it online either. It's not on Key Collector or, I mean, when I Google this book, I can't even find it. So let me know if you know anything about this book. But pretty cool to get a Captain Marvel number one. Uh, also got Cage number one. I find this book everywhere uh, in dollar bins and everything. So it's just a cool book, uh, you know, first of that series. Also, the same series, Cage number four. Pretty cool looking uh, cover with Punisher. Also, Cage number 11. Pretty awesome looking cover as well. This was a nice find. How about Cable number one? Really cool. This is a uh, first appearance of, what is it? Sincere and Clan Chosen. And the origin of Cable. Awesome cover. And always nice to find that for less than a dollar. This was a cool find too, X-Men number two. Awesome Magneto cover. Not a key book, but just nice to find. It's in super high grade as well, so that's awesome. Uncanny X-Men 312. Also not a key book, but it's got a cool Gambit cover. Uh, Sabretooth number one. I thought that was kind of cool. Sabretooth looking fierce on the cover there. And just the first in the series, nothing too special. 
Uh, found a whole run of Wild Thing, Nikki Doyle. Um, I already have issue number one, and they had issue number two, number three, number four, and number five. Nikki Doyle, Wild Thing. So, issue number one, I already have in my collection. It's got uh, Venom and Carnage on it. This one's got Venom and Spidey. So, pretty cool to finish out that little run uh, with a handful of those books. Uh, also got a couple of these um, Ghost Rider and Blaze Spirit of Vengeance. I didn't even realize, but this one has a big uh, tear on the front, or color pole, whatever you want to call that. Um, issue number three, nothing too special. This one's not a key, but man, I love this cover. Look at Venom. Such an awesome piece of art there. Venom hanging from the ceiling, dripping, holding the flaming skull. Such an awesome cover. I love that one. It's kind of hard to see with the uh, inside the bag, but that is just so cool. Uh, Spirit of Vengeance, number seven. Nothing too special. And then um, this was uh, Spirit of Vengeance number nine. And this is actually a key book. This is the first appearance of uh, Michael Badly, uh, Badlino, Badalino as Vengeance. So this is actually like a, uh, I believe like a 10 or $12 book. And it's in really nice high grade. So not too bad at all. That was a cool find. And really awesome Ghost Rider cover here, issue number five with Punisher. It's got the gold foil trade dress. Not a key book, but just an awesome Punisher and Ghost Rider cover. So I was excited about that one. Uh, Silver Surfer, number 84. Nothing too crazy, just another Silver Surfer book. And Punisher 89, cool cover, not a key. Just another Punisher for my collection. This was a great find here. Sensational She-Hulk, number 31. Not a key book, but I mean, I never find a Sensational She-Hulk um, or any kind of She-Hulk out in like flea markets or, you know, I just, I never really find them unless I'm at my uh, comic shops. So pretty cool to find a nice little She-Hulk book. It's in great condition. This was a really cool find as well. This is the last of the Marvel books in the collection I got here. Uh, this is a cool What If book. What If Elektra Had Lived. Awesome cover with Elektra and Daredevil. New stand edition. This is issue 35. It's technically not a key book of the uh, series, but definitely awesome. I'm a huge Daredevil fan, so... And this book's in really nice condition. So that was an awesome pickup. Excited about that one. And then now let's get into some of the um, independent books. This one was interesting. This is a uh, X-Files uh, Ash Can Edition. I think this came with a, um, uh, so, like a magazine or something. So this is uh, Topps Comics. Really cool. I love X-Files. So that was a cool little find. Uh, also here, we got some Image Comics. We got the Max number two. Nice little find there. Max number three. These are all in really nice condition. It's always cool to find some cool image books. These are all first prints. Um, really cool. So the Max number five. I love the black cover there. And finally of the Max, we have issue 11. Pretty cool looking cover as well. Uh, they didn't have much spawn, but these they had these two. These are the ones that come with the toys. Uh, so this was kind of cool. Um, so they have this one here. And this one. And they're in pretty uh, rough shape. They have bent corners and spine ticks, but I grabbed them anyway because I thought they were cool. I remember when they these came uh, with the original run of the toys, so that was really cool. This was an awesome find. This is Magic the Gathering, the Shadow Mage, number one from Armada Comics. This is the first ever Magic the Gathering comic that was, that was made. So this is awesome. This is like a... Uh, I don't know, $15, $20 book. And it's from 1995, I believe. So really nice condition. I mean, the thing's really nice. And um, it's, got, it's got a little blunt corner there, but nothing too, nothing too bad. Uh, this was a really cool find for less than a dollar. 
So the first Magic comic book right there. Really cool. Some more image books. Uh, Vanguard number one. Nothing special. Kind of a cool cover. But like I said, they had a lot of number one issues. So here's Wildstar number one. Really cool looking cover. And we have The Pit. Uh, pit number, uh, sorry, number nine. Really cool looking uh, artwork there. And The Pit number one. First appearance of The Pit. So really cool. Not too bad. Image Comics. Less than a dollar. All right. Getting to the last of the books here. We have some DC. So I grabbed Green Lantern Zero. Nothing too crazy there. But it's in decent shape. And then I think these were probably the best finds of the day. Green Lantern number 50. First appearance of Kyle Rayner as the new Green Lantern. They had this copy here, which, as you see, is actually a newsstand, which is awesome. And they had issue number 50 as a direct edition. They had both of them in this little collection, newsstand and direct, for less than a dollar. And these are, you know, $10, $15 books. Not too bad at all for less than a buck. I think that was a great pickup. First appearance, Kyle Rayner as the new Green Lantern. So, let me know down in the comments, what did you think about my haul today? I got 50 books, I paid 40 bucks, and I got a lot of number ones. I got some minor keys, you know, this is a little bit of a, a nice look, nice little key there. You know, we got some great books, and a lot of these are in really nice shape. Uh, the guy that sold them to me was a younger guy, like I said, probably my age, you know, in his, in his 30s or younger. And he said he wasn't really into comics. These were just ones that he had as a kid. So, really cool. I mean, he had a great collection. He took care of them. Uh, they weren't in bags and boards, but they were they were all in really nice shape, which was a nice surprise. So, I grabbed them. I think that I, I got a pretty good deal paying about 80 cents a book or so. So, let me know down in the comments what do you think. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Smash that like button if you enjoyed what you saw. Subscribe to the channel. Ring the notification bell. And as always, I'll see you on the next one.